Hello everybody and welcome back to the Rancher River Shine. So today I'm just going to be doing like a little bit of a let's play again and updating you guys on my horses and what I've been doing and I'm telling you guys I got some big news this time because I feel I feel almost stupid for not realizing sooner but this game really doesn't explain much to you and doesn't tell you like what certain things do when you buy them to be honest and I didn't think that some of those courses would really benefit me if I bought them so um for the people that don't know yet, and that's okay, you're in the same boat as me, I didn't know yet, uh, there are courses that you can apparently buy, like training uh, re training areas in different spots on the map, like in Lupine Meadows or Pine Forest, stuff like that, and they'll actually train your horse extremely fast in certain stats. I had no idea about this, and I'm really sad that I didn't know about it sooner. I'm like, what the heck is this? Because I've been playing this game for... Geez, since it came out, I think I bought it as soon as it came out, and I've been just playing it nonstop. And I didn't even know. I mean, geez, I have legendary horses unlocked already, and I still didn't know this whole time. Did not know. <laughs> it's like, what the heck? So I'm gonna take, uh, I think this boy here and show you guys. Yeah, he has 5% left, so I'm gonna show you on him. Oh no, it was his flexibility I wanted to up. Ugh, flexibility takes so long on this guy. Never mind. Okay. So I found out that there is not a training area that you can get for flexibility for some reason. I really wanted that one, but I didn't see it in the store. I couldn't buy it unless I already somehow bought it and didn't know. But what we'll do is we'll take her out and I'll show you guys on her. Because she still has 5% as well left and I wanted to put it into her jump. So with that being said, and maybe one endurance, but endurance is easy. We'll go put it in jump. So... Let me just hop on her. We'll brush her up a little bit and then we'll head out. Do, 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 do. She's so pretty. I don't really know what breed what breeding projects I'd do with her though. She's just pretty. Like I just like it. But I don't really have many breeding projects to do with her. Which is fine. Maybe I'll just retire her eventually and keep her in the retirement pasture. So, if I remember, this is another thing I hate though about this game, maybe I haven't again found out about it yet, but I'd like to know where the heck my training stuff is in which areas. Because like, I had unlocked all these training areas, but I don't remember which one's in which place. I hate driving around and trying to figure that out. I'm pretty sure Pine Forest has... The speed one? Speed training? <laughs> See, like, this is I don't even remember. This is stupid. I really don't. I'm gonna go, though, I think into town, because I think the jumping one is in Lupine Meadow? Maybe? Maybe not? Maybe the jumping one's in Pine Forest? Don't know. Wish they'd tell me. <laughs> like, I really wish I could go somewhere in my inventory or settings and just look at where each like training area is because I don't remember okay so here we are we've got the training arena there which doesn't do anything and the speed dang it okay so lupine meadows is speed I guess I should just write this stuff down because this drives me nuts okay speed lupine meadows is speed so that has me thinking that the pine forest was the jump Darn. or maybe crystal lake See what I mean? I don't know. I don't know! I guess we'll go check Crystal Lake really quick. I just need to up my endurance once, so might as well do that while we're running around. Don't want to up speed. Okay, this one has jump perfect okay crystal lake is the jump arena training <laughs> glad we figured that out right now where do I go over here I think I know I just looked at the map but I'm lazy I think it's over here there we go okay so we got our endurance now I have to trot like this till I get there because I don't want the rest of it to go to speed or something Nope, I'm going the completely wrong way. God damn. I just get confused sometimes in my direction, I guess. 
so it's this way. Ay ay. But yeah, so that's mainly what I wanted to tell you guys about today in this journey because wow, I completely did not know that these existed at all. And you can do multiple horses in one day. So if you want to go to the jumping arena and you got three horses you want to train on your jumping, bring them all there. They can all do it. As long as your horse has uh, stamina and has potential, of course, like potential left, you can train them to your heart's desire. It is insane. I had no idea it went that fast. And I'm going to show you guys right now how fast it really goes. But uh, when the wild horse update came out and all these wild horses were running about, I'm like, oh, that's so great. You know, that's so cool. But then I found out that their stats are like atrocious and they're so like, I thought they were super hard to level up because you get these horses that have like 10 speed, 15 jump, you know, like really low numbers. And I'm like, well, geez, they really just want me to breed them to death to get their stats up. But that's not all the whole story, I guess. They apparently want me to train them in a very easy way that I didn't know about. <laughs> It just drives me nuts because this whole time I've been selling them or I've been like debating if I really want to do breeding projects with these wild horses because I didn't want to have to constantly up their stats and take forever. No, nope. you just come here and do this this whole time. I just, I just can't believe the game couldn't tell me that. It just didn't make any sense to me when I was reading it in the store because it says it ups it twice a day or something. I'm like, what does that even mean? You know, like it doesn't explain anything. Ugh, had to get that out. It made me a little mad, but all in all, this game is great. I just can't believe they didn't explain this more, you know? Like, some games are really good, they just don't explain crap. There's plenty of games like that. So as you can see, we're up in the jump, and obviously if your horse has higher stats as it is already, it will take obviously a tiny bit longer than usual, but not really. I mean, it goes up really fast, so what, we just did four jumps. My potential's at zero. We're done. 59 jump, look at that. Only I only jumped a couple times. Boom, it's up. And this whole time I thought I had to like do the jumping arena course the whole time. Like go into town and go to the girl and set up the course and just do jumps and circles all day and take forever to up one jump stat. Ugh, it was killing me. I was like, pur, 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 kill myself. But we made it. We made it, people. <laughs> but uh, yeah, just in case nobody knew about that, that is a thing. So, if you have wild horses that you find and you like them but their stats are terrible, do not worry about it. You can up it with a breeze and then, of course, breed it, but at least the stats will be higher when you do breed it because then it'll make it easier for the next horse you get to breed up and continue your project with. Because I had a lot of breeding projects I wanted to do, but then I found out that. And I was like, wow, now I can really do a lot of breeding projects. <laughs> I was like so upset that the game didn't tell me. Jeez, I've been playing for months now. It's insane. To be honest, uh, even though the game didn't explain it very well and didn't tell us about it, I also don't read very much in this game. I wasn't like reading certain things like what the NPCs tell me and stuff like that. I was just figuring it out on my own. But still, they should have told me that. Like, ay ay ay. So, we're gonna check out some legendary horses today. I've got 28k so I can at least afford, hopefully, a good one or at least something nice. Then again, doesn't even matter anymore because I can just train them with ease. I didn't even know, like, oh my god. In my last videos, I even was telling people, I'm like, make sure you buy horses with high jump if you don't want to train the jump because it takes too long. Ah, that doesn't even matter anymore. You can just train it, no problem. There you go, bada bing, bada boom. Oh, it's so funny. So, oh, I hope that helped some people out if you're watching today because <laughs> I didn't know about it either. So now I can buy whatever horse I want. As long as I like it, I'm buying it. As long as it's got, you know, decent high stats so I don't have to train them too bad because the potential is a little low. Oh, it's so funny. Oh my god. So today we're looking for a female. I really need, even though this is cute and I really like these patterns, I have three males. I need to not buy males. I need females so bad to start my breeding projects with. So we're looking for a female specifically today. And we're looking specifically for either the silver or the flaxen hair. Unless we find an all black horse, I'll take it because I like the black. But I really want an Apolloso horse with either flaxen or silver hair. I really like those. Even a black horse with the silver, I would die for. Like, this is so cute. But again, like, speed could still be at 70, you know? Like, even though obviously speed's super easy to upgrade now, 
you'd want it to still be at 70. You want every stat to at least be at 70, unless it's a horse that you really, really like. Like, I don't love this horse. I would just get it to uh, use as a breeding project. And the potential's only 47, so you would need your stats to be higher to at least be able to get the most potential out of it. I fully uh, leveled up my horse Spirit that I was showing you guys in the last video. He now has like 80... He now has like 90? 93 speed or something? He's a crazy racehorse. I can't even control him anymore when I do the races, so it was, it was hard to get used to. So we'll be I'll be showing you that as well when I get back to the barn and hopefully doing this Crystal Lake race. I still have to get the expert race done, but like I said, he's so fast now I like can't control him. <laughs> but hopefully it'll help me win. Oh, that one's cute. <sighs> Oh, come on. Give me something better. I don't really like the cheese designs. I mean, like, they're cute, but I just see cheese every time I look at it. <laughs> cheese! Blue cheese! Well, if you ever get a blue done, a blue done or a blue roan horse and it's got cheese markings on it, just call it blue cheese. <laughs> Great name. Loopy doo Pass! Boring! I do like that they added Sandy Chestnut, though. It's a cute color. Ooh. I don't actually like Liver Chestnut, though, at all. It's too much of a dull brown for me. Light Bay. Very nice. I actually think it's quite interesting that the creator of this game took more of a dull look to everything. Like, the horses have no shine at all to them, not even the hair. Just no shine at all. <laughs> and it's definitely weird. Like, everything's very matted. But they're still cute. Yikes, them are low. Very pretty, though. Oh, I love that. It'd be so good for a breeding project. If I could get this Apoloso spotting with uh, silver hair and no white markings at all, I'd love it. I'd absolutely love it. I don't know why, but I'm not a big fan of white markings. I don't really like the white stockings. And it depends on which face marking it is for me to like it. Like, this is cute, but I'm not a huge fan of just that big white stripe. It's very common. And I'm just like, eh. You know, it's common. Cute, but common. Same with that. Like, again, cute, but common. Oh, also, they really, like, the creator really needs to add a rotation in this. It's driving me nuts. I don't know why they never added a rotation option in the auction. Like, what if I want to see the other side of the horse? Because what if the face marking's on that side that we can't see, you know? Like, what the heck? Or the markings on the other side could be different. I don't know. I'd just like to see it. There should be a rotate option. Jeez, we only got four left? Come on. That one's really pretty. I like that. Okay. One stocking, all white face. Not terrible. Two stockings, my bad. And then a little, little hoof. See, I really like this Apoloso, but every time it's got brown hair. I don't like the brown on the white body. But it's cute. I like the spots. Ugh, darn it. Okay, nothing good this time. Even though I do like the light chestnut with no spots, it did good that time. I'm okay with, like, these little white sock, you'll call it. Like, the littlest white sock, because you can't really notice. But I don't prefer big socks so most of the time. Okay, that was something. So we're going to bring her home. Or do we- yeah, no, she can't make money off that stamina, so we're just gonna bring her home. Oh, come on. And I'll take Spirit out and show him- and show you guys the stats he has, and then bring him out in a race. Dang, I feel exhausted right now. I don't know if- uh, other fellow YouTubers are gonna watch my stuff and relate, but uh, I've recorded two videos already and I'm exhausted. <laughs> I'm like, dang, a lot of recording in one day. Okay, um, uh, let's spice you up. Spiffy. Don't need to give him any of that. Or that. Thank you. 
Sometimes when I'm brushing these horses for days on end, I feel like I'm playing Nintendogs plus cats. And you just brush them non-stop and constantly bathe them. <laughs> okay, uh, so as you see here, his speed is 93. That is the highest stat I've ever had. Never had it for, like further than that ever. Uh, endurance, 85. Very good. Uh, I would have preferred to maybe get it to 90, but I ran out of potential. Jump 77. Honestly, you're not going to need your jump higher than probably 75, I think. Even for the expert races, your horse can still jump it. But 77 is good. It's a good rounding number. Uh, flexibility, you probably also don't need higher than 75, maybe 80. Uh, so 81 is good. I think you don't need more flexibility because once it's at 80, it's very flexible anyways as it is. Why is the brush? Okay, brush be broken. Okay. Or am I still brushing him? Okay. Anyways, very great stats. Very happy with it. Um, he's going to be amazing for a breeding project that I have coming up soon for him. If I can find a dang mare that'll go with him. <laughs> I have not found one yet, but I'll get there. And I'll definitely end up retiring this horse probably. No, I'll probably end up selling it because it's not the full spirit stallion. Yeah, but definitely going to keep him for breeding projects and try and get this dang race done. He's the only one that has high enough stats to get the expert race done now, hopefully. Uh, like I said, I can't control him anymore. Look how fast he is. He's extremely fast. Look at that. Like, wow. So when I'm doing races, uh, it's actually been a new learning experience for me, having to relearn how to jump in the races and do it right with how fast my horse is. This has definitely been a hindrance. Or a learning curve? Learning curve. That. <laughs> but we're gonna give it a whirl. We're gonna try. Uh, you're just gonna have to bear with me because I'm not gonna talk through this race mostly. Like, I'm not gonna go on some full rant because when I'm talking, I really can't focus. Because it's doing two things at once. So let's try. Wish me luck. Oof, see? Already messed that up. Terrible. Terrible! But see how my flexibility is already good, so don't really need to up that more. I've learned to slow down for this jump. I can never make this jump. I miss it every time. JK, don't slow down, I guess. It won't work. <laughs> God, I hate this race. This race is the most difficult I've ever had to do. slow down for that one too. I don't know. This race driving me nuts. That was really bad. Oh, okay. I usually don't miss it a second time. Wow. My brain. I'm already at 138. Yeah, I'm probably not going to win this race this time around. Taking too long. And I missed like five jumps. Make it six. So close. You have to. You have to make 216 to win this race. If you don't make it within 216, you lose, so. I tried, but I'm probably gonna get fifth again. It's just because I keep missing all these jumps. Like, my god, it's unbelievable. I really need a horse that has, I think, 90 endurance as well. Just wow. Well, you see how fast he is, at least. Very hard to control. 
So I think what I'll do is just keep working on my breeding projects and working on getting another horse from the auction to just boost the crap out of the stats and hopefully get 90 endurance and 90 speed and try that out. Because this one has 93 speed but only has 85 endurance. I feel like that extra oomph and endurance would really help. I don't know. And if I could learn how to not miss those jumps. It's going to be such a hard learning curve for me. I've been doing that race like, geez, 10 times a day every time I play, but it just doesn't work out. So next horse we got to work on are the two back here. So as I said with this guy, he's only got a few. Oh, he's got the flexibility, right? Okay, we'll work on him another day. <laughs> I keep forgetting that I can't just go like up his flexibility immediately. But I did just get this lovely Apollo, so I wanted to show you guys. I finally found one for my breeding project. But again, he is a stallion, so can't really breed him to much except for my uh, red velvet girl. But he's beautiful. I absolutely love the Bay Apoloso look and the little black hook, like black at the bottom. And it has the silver hair. The silver hair will be prime for uh, breeding. That's really what I wanted. Plus the coat, like the actual pattern, not the color. And then for stats, we're doing pretty good so far. I just need to up, uh, honestly, everything because maybe I can get his speed and, and maybe the endurance up to 90 with just this potential. I think I can, as long as I don't put any more into jump or flexibility because they don't need it. They're pretty good right now. So let's take him out and go do some speed and endurance training and I'll show you guys where those are, if I can remember right. I know where the speed is at least because we just looked at it. So we're just gonna brush him up a little bit. My hair is bothering the crap out of me. Everything's bothering me. <laughs> I've had the roughest day today with my allergies. I feel like it's either like I'm fighting a cold, but allergies can really feel like a cold sometimes. And it's really bad today. <sighs> and we'll give you a little carrot. Was it Lupine Meadows, guys? I think. I think it was. Lupine Meadows was one of them anyways. I just love these spots, they're so cute! Ah. I really wish they would have add, added jumping for passive uh, running as well. Like not being in a race, I just want to be able to run around and jump. I don't know why I can't, but I guess the creator didn't want to add that in. <laughs> music though. Did I mention this is still one of the best horse games though? <laughs> best horse game right here, 10 out of 10. Compared to like Star Stable and even Alicia Online and like Rival Stars or whatever. This one's way better. I do really love AO though. Star Stable I like but it's been testing my patience lately. Okay, so let's get started. Oh, right, I have to canter through. Whoopsie! There we go. Got one speed there. Boom. So, yeah, you can just do this now. I didn't know you could do this. Easiest training of my damn life. <laughs> Where was this three months ago when I needed it? We're just gonna keep going till I run out of, of uh, endurance, honestly. Run out of stamina. Alright, let's check that. We are at 81 speed and 30 potential. Okay. Okay, so we might not be able to get both stats up to 90. We'll see, but we'll do endurance next time. we we'll just get one more speed in here. There we go. And back to entrance. Oh, 
and I think that's really it for today, guys. I just wanted to update you guys on uh, the new horses I had gotten and the new stats and the new training I found out about because, wow, it is a life changer. Definitely go buy those training things. You go to, you get them from River. So if you find River in town, go to her and it'll say like speed training or endurance training and it'll say like some stupid stuff about training it twice per day which made no sense to me. Just buy those and then it'll tell you where the locations are for them. And you can just go do that every day. It's great. And uh, until next time guys, I will update you again maybe in my community post like if I find a new like breeding project or if I find a really nice horse from the auction because I'm still searching. I'm super picky like I take way too long to get these horses, <laughs> but uh, until next time, see ya!